How to Treat and Cure Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome SARS, is caused by the SARS coronavirus, known as SARS-CoV. Coronaviruses are common viruses linked to infections in humans and animals. There are several recognized human coronaviruses that cause mild respiratory infections, such as the common cold. However, this type of virus can also include strains that cause more severe illnesses, such as SARS. Symptoms of SARS SARS has flu-like symptoms that usually begin two to seven days after infection. In some cases, the incubation period, the time between exposure to the virus and the onset of symptoms, can be up to 10 days. The symptoms of SARS include a high temperature, fever, over 38 C, 100.4 F, fatigue, extreme tiredness, headaches, chills, muscle pain, loss of appetite, diarrhea. After these symptoms the infection will begin to affect your respiratory system, lungs and airways, leading to additional symptoms such as a dry cough, breathing difficulties, an increasing lack of oxygen in the blood, which can be fatal in the most severe cases. SARS is an airborne virus, which means it's spread in a similar way to colds and flu. The SARS virus is spread in small droplets of saliva coughed or sneezed into the air by an infected person. If someone else breathes in the droplets they can become infected. SARS can also be spread indirectly if an infected person touches surfaces, such as door handles, with unwashed hands. Someone who touches the surface may also become infected. The SARS virus may also be spread through an infected person's feces, stools. For example, if they don't wash their hands properly after going to the toilet, they may pass the infection on to others. Treatment for SARS There's currently no cure for SARS but research to find a vaccine is ongoing. A person suspected of having SARS should be admitted to hospital immediately and kept in isolation under close observation. Treatment is mainly supportive and may include Assisting with breathing using a ventilator to deliver oxygen. Antibiotics to treat bacteria that cause pneumonia. Antiviral medications. High doses of steroids to reduce swelling in the lungs. There's little in the way of scientific evidence to show that these treatments are effective. The antiviral medication, ribavirin, is known to be ineffective at treating SARS. Viral mutations. Mutations occur randomly and most aren't particularly significant. However, sometimes by chance, a mutated virus is able to infect humans. Examples of mutated viruses include SARS HIV- thought to be a mutated version of a virus found in monkeys. Avian flu, a mutated version of a flu virus found in birds. Swine flu, a mutated version of a flu virus thought to have originated in pigs. Patients with SARS often require oxygen, and severe cases require mechanical ventilation. Severely ill patients should be admitted to the intensive care unit. No medication has been proven to treat SARS effectively, and treatment is largely supportive and directed by the patient's clinical condition. Some drugs from a group known as protease inhibitors appear effective against SARS-CoV, but these medications have not been studied in people with SARS. Management is aided by infectious disease, pulmonary, and critical care subspecialists. Medical caregivers need to follow strict policies on gloves, masks, gowns, and other protocols to avoid becoming infected. There is no confirmed treatment that works for every person who has SARS. Antiviral medications and steroids are sometimes given to reduce lung swelling, but aren't effective for everyone. Supplemental oxygen or a ventilator may be prescribed if necessary. In severe cases, blood plasma from someone who has already recovered from SARS may also be administered. However, there is not yet enough evidence to prove that these treatments are effective. Home Remedies Figs 
The nutritional properties of figs promote respiratory health and help drain phlegm and alleviate breathing difficulties. Wash three dried figs and soak them in a cup of water overnight. In the morning, eat the soaked figs and drink the fig water on an empty stomach. Continue this home treatment for a couple of months. Garlic. Boil two or three cloves in one quarter cup of milk. Allow it to cool to room temperature and then drink it. Honey. Just inhaling the smell of honey produces positive results for some people.